Hello, thank you for watching. I'm Iron Toes and this is your quick guide to using Sentinel. In light of the Variant 3 drop, I thought it would be a good time to take a quick look at Sentinel. He has tanky health and a pretty decent attack. He makes a decent war defender on the right nodes and can be a decent attacker at a higher level. Sentinel does take some ramp up for every fight, but once he's at full strength, he can pile on some serious damage both from hits and from damage over time. In addition to the standard advantage over mutants, he also has meta advantages like heal block, multiple damage over time effects, and of course his analysis ability works twice as fast. So here are the top three things you need to know about how to use him. Number one, you need to get proficient at building analysis charges. Your primary goal is to max out his charges at 100, it nearly doubles his attack, it nearly triples his armor, it gives him critical resistance, and reduces his power consumption on specials. As a defender, it also benefits his specials and heavy attacks. Sentinel gains charges when the opponent makes repetitive moves. The easiest way to force this behavior is to hit into the opponent's block. What I do is basically wait for the defender to dash back at the same time as me, and then dash in for a medium, light, light, light combo. Definitely don't want to finish with a medium or you'll likely get counterattacked. You'll get three repeated actions from the defender each time you do this. Once you are at 100 charges, you're golden. Proceed with the rest of the fight. The second thing you need to learn is what type of damage is best for the situation you're in. Always try to sneak in a heavy attack whenever you can to keep the opponent under a shock debuff. This should be constant. And then, if the defender is not incinerate immune, you should focus on using your special too. The damage over time is your friend in these battles. However, if damage over time is not effective in a particular fight, you can just spam special one. Um, it'll proc armor breaks on the opponent so that basically all your basic hits deal more damage um, and it also heal blocks if you need that. The character design is actually pretty clever because you as the player need to analyze the situation and choose the correct attacks for whatever works best. And finally, you need to know how to regenerate Sentinel. The mechanic is simple. You basically need to throw your SP3 twice in order to do it. The first SP3 grants you a passive armor up, and the second consumes that armor up and regenerates. The nice thing about this regenerate is that it's instant. It's not a buff. There are some special circumstances where that comes in handy, like buffet nodes, for example. Um, the regeneration amounts to whatever is stated in the character's info screen, but adjusted for lost health. So. For example, my rank 3 sentinel can regain up to 5,227 health, so if I've lost 50% of my health, I only gain 50% of the stated amount, so 2,600 health or so. If I've lost 75% of my health and I throw that second L3, I'll gain more like 4,000 health. Basically, the lower you are in health, the more you'll gain. I've noticed that sentinel is a beefy enough champ that a lot of times it's tough to get that second special 3 off before winning the match. One piece of advice is that if you know you need to gain health going into a fight, build up and throw your special 3 right away, and then work on building your analysis charges, it generally gives you a chance to regenerate and then finish off the defender. So that's it. The most important thing is to practice building those charges until it becomes easy for you, and then get good at being intuitive about which attacks to use. Sentinel definitely doesn't need the dupe to be quite good, and he has decent utility with the double immunity. I hope you liked this video. Hit that thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you next time. Bye.